just bugging. Alright guys, I've got the uh, 1975 trike here. Yeah, my wires are all over the place. I picked them up so I could roll this forward. They're kind of just laying across it. But It does start runs, and now I just now made some spacers to go in between the larger diameter holes on these pedals. And I've got some brass washers there, and uh, see the clutch working. And one thing I noticed that I don't like is that, now you have to, these are gonna go through slots in the body. So you're gonna have to remove this, which is gonna attach the foot peg to it. I have to modify this. I'm gonna make it a smaller bolt and on the end of it. I'll show you, I'll explain it later. But anyways, I don't like that you can push this too far. It's gotta stop for it coming back. But you could push this too far and then make the plunger leak inside this or push it too far and make it extend way past the O-ring inside the slave and make that leak. So, I mean, the clutch you probably, you know, you're only gonna depress an inch or so and you're probably not gonna do it. But the brakes, it needs to have some sort of a stop which I will probably drill a hole somewhere in here and put a stop there. I don't know yet. I haven't, I'm just thinking about that one right now. Then I don't like that these bolt, this doesn't get that tight. And I'm, I would hate to, to every time you push the clutch, it started working that bolt off. You, like I said, you're gonna have to remove these to get the body off. So I was thinking about drilling a hole straight through this bolt, like as, as if you put a carter pin on it and then going straight through the bottom of this metal here and tapping it out and putting a bolt a small bolt here with a nut on it so you can lock it down so then when you put the pedal back on and tighten it down to the right tightness that you're going to need where the pedal's not hanging up um, then you just push your bolt back up into this and it'll go into the hole of this bolt and then you can just lock it down it's just there as a safety so this doesn't back out and then when somebody wants to come remove the body they just uh, release the lock nut back it out you know a quarter inch or so and then this will come back out and, and then when you put it back together of course lock it down because you don't want to tighten it too much and then the pedal has a resistance in it and it doesn't return but once I get somebody home to help I'm gonna slap the body on it and take it for a spin I mean I'll have to rig up something we're still making the fuel tank there will be eventually two fuel tanks but we're just gonna get it going with one right now and there'll be two and one will have the sending unit in it and then it'll connect below across under the tranny so that they'll all be the same level and that side you'll get the reading for the fuel in it and it'll have double the capacity but the sending it only needs to be on one side all right so that's what we're at too i need to order a five prong light switch so that i can have high low and par for the lights so you can have high beam and low beam because we're not going to have a you know a push button or anything you can just turn it on in different stages and you can have your park lights on or you can have your headlight on low beam or you can have your headlight on high beam and then he's going to locate the turn signals for the Front, but I may just wire it up in here where there's plenty of slack and he can put it up here later but I'll wire up the tail lights we're gonna get the sequential Kento and a Maverick tail lights so I need to get those because it's gonna have more wires for the LED and it has I don't know six or seven different functions on it so uh, different ways you can have the, the tail lights blink so I've got to get that and then I'm gonna lay this all out this just has all the legs and the and I labeled everything what that is and for the horn and for the front headlight and so on. It's just laid up here so I could uh, roll it around. Excuse me, I've been working hard. I'm getting tired. And uh, you can see I mounted the fuse box right here. They had it underneath the body. I don't know why. Once I get that determined and then see this is where this is my ignition switch so I can determine how many wires I'm gonna need to make my plug so that this will be on the body. So you can just unplug a plug and you can remove the body from this side. I've got one of the foot pegs on. It's just rough right now because I'm going to clean it up, the weld, and uh, paint the bolt head to make it look decent. I'm going to clean that all up and make it really look nice. I like the skull on it. So that's uh, what I got there. I see how it looks when I get it on the body. I'm not sure how far this has to be screwed in until I put the body on it. So I think that'll work. If not, I'll do a different idea. But I got that big bolt there. I mean, a lot of the parts weren't available that somebody took it apart and over the years, 40 years, bits and pieces of it ended up missing. So I have to fabricate everything for it. No big deal. I will get it one way or another. I got a new switch yesterday at B-Dubs and I think it's for a van, Volkswagen van. So I'm gonna set it up where it's gonna be on the side of the body 
over the shifter, your legs up here, and you can turn on the headlights, and your running lights will go on at the same time too, of course. And if you need to use your high beam, you just pull it out, and put it back down. You know, if you're in an open road, you can pull it out, you get your high beam, your running lights on, and then you can go back down the high beam, you just reach down, you're gonna reach down for your shifter anyway, so reach down, and off. So that's gonna be my next thing. Still gotta get a turn signal lever. It's gonna be something up here, of course, so I'm just going to, like I did here with the flasher, this will go to the turn signal lever. This one here will go to the turn signal indicator light, which would most likely be near the lever. And so we're gonna have to wait for that. Then I'm gonna run some wires, just uh, some short wires to show where they're coming from for the front turn signals, which he's gonna have to find those. So I'm going to get on with wiring the light switch and I'm waiting on some indicator lights to come in. So I'll probably plan that. I'm really happy with uh, how this is going with the wiring harness. You understand I got a lot of excess on here. Next, after I get everything done, I'm gonna put the body on it and start figuring out where I want to have the harness on the body. I wanna fix some of it to the body, but I do wanna make sure that it's bonded real well and that it's not gonna hang down and come down. So I don't want a lot of this on the body. So right here is my left tail light and you know the turn signal park light stop light here's a ground for everything back here and then here's the right tail light and then it comes around here and I was thinking about putting a plug here to disconnect the tail light to the body now as to how well it's going to fasten to the bottom of the body that's going to determine whether I do that I just ordered some hold downs with adhesive but I think I want to you know and they come with screws so of course you don't want to screw through the fiberglass body so I think I'm going to go get some real good liquid adhesive of you know like liquid nails or something some really high bond and take that whatever's on it the double stick tape on the back of it they say it's super adhesive but I don't want this to come back down on the chassis I want it to stay on the body so that's all the tail lights and everything that's going to come up here and then you've got of course the battery and then the starter and everything which is going to go to the ignition switch so I have about five wires over here and I want to make this plug where you're going to have to be anyway so you have to come up here and you have to remove the pedals to get the, the body off and you have to remove the foot pegs to get the body off and you have to remove this the nut here one of them's a stud that sticks up and one of them goes down so you can actually it helps you put the body on correctly because then you just drop it onto a stud put a nut on it the other one you put a bolt and a washer down into it and I'm still gonna make some pads here for spacers and these are the simple things I just waiting till the end and tackling the things that take a lot of time and you can't really judge how long it's going to take. I'm figuring I'm going to have three plugs to disconnect and I want them in the area that you're already having to disconnect the body so it's simpler. And then when I come over here, I'm going to have all my headlights, my fuel gauge, my voltmeter, my indicator lights and everything. So I presume it's somewhere around 12 to 14 wires are going to be disconnected somewhere in this general direction. Like maybe underneath chassis for the gauges and, and the headlights and everything. So that'll detach and then one here and then one there. So right now I got my light switch here and everything. Of course, I don't have it hooked up up there yet. And uh, got my ignition here. It'll still start, so I gotta set this plug in here. But like I said, I don't like that there's nothing to prevent the pedal from going too far. And then, like on this side, you could push the slave right out too far in the O-ring, and then it'll leak. So I'm gonna have to weld a bracket underneath here. You know, I mask everything off, and then just have to touch up where I welded. But I want it to come out with an adjustable bolt right here with a locking nut, to where I don't want it to go any further. I'll have something to make it stop. Or actually, you could just put a tab here. See how far this full stroke is. And I can't judge that until the body's on here so I can see if these hit the body or if they're out of the area or something. I don't know. So really coming out nice. I can't wait. Possibly next week I'll be able to mock it up and put the body on it and take it for a little spin. But I mean, I'll be surprised if I get into second gear. This thing is kind of wicked, you know. It's kind of scary at first, but, you know, I want to check it out and kind of slowly get into it. But, of course, uh, I'm in my neighborhood, so it'll just be see if it functions properly and if I can put it in reverse and all the four gears and everything. And so stay tuned. This thing's getting exciting. It's been a long haul. It was brought to me in pieces with one photo. I was instructed to make it as original as it was. And <laughs> I don't really know how it was other than a bunch of pieces and stuff. Half of it was missing. So, but it makes it exciting. And I'm not making a fortune out of doing the work on it, but it's the opportunity that's just amazing. I mean, where are you going to get the chance to build something so crazy? 
easy like this. And then everybody gets to check out what I'm capable of doing, so it's a great thing. I, I'm enjoying it. Right, guys, I'm back to the trike wiring harness. Got some more pieces of the puzzle, so to speak. As you can see, I've already started closing it up with some wire loom. I've decided that it would be better over here with the plugs to detach it and I'm label them like P1, P2, P3. There's gonna be probably four or five more than I thought, but there was probably at least six on the last one or maybe even more than that. And it was a mess. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm heat shrinking each individual wire to the plug, make them nice and secure so people can pull them off and not worry about pulling anything out. So this is gonna be nicely done. And like two of them will be in this general area and then two of them will be over there. And then there'll be one main one underneath with the 10 gauge wiring for the positive and everything will be as if like, if you're gonna detach it from the body. And of course that would still have power to it. You know, in some cases it's gonna still have live power. So I made sure that I'm using the female end that will be on the vehicle where the battery is gonna be, of course, and uh, making sure that this exposed pin here is always a ground or either an unswitch circuit or something like that. So when you unplug it, you don't have to worry about touching something. And then the main power will be like a extension cord plug and it'll be underneath the battery box. So then you remove all these for your accessories, your lights and so forth and everything. Then you get over there and remove that one. And that I'll always make, it'll always make sure that there's no resistance in the main power plug. So that's where I'm at. I'm getting closer to having it done, the wiring. So I still have to deal with the body, waiting on the seat covers to come back so I can drill the holes for the snap, for them to snap to the body. Then I gotta have to make sure all the switches and everything fit properly into the holes. And I know I said something about an indicator light being above the shifter where the key switch and the light switch is going to be decide now that i'm going to put a horn there it may go back to an indicator light to fill the hole if he ends up with a turn signal switch with a horn button on it and then i'll just wire that up to the left handlebar grip so that's where we're at with that and then move on and do a little bit more soldering hey guys back on the trike uh, i'm going over the last glaze putty and everything i've sanded it down for its last high build primer which i'm going to reduce a little bit to lay it really nice down where it's not a lot of sanding but after that wet sand and get ready to shoot this it's been on delay right now but we're uh, getting back onto it gonna get it painted and uh, get on with it i've got a little bit of wiring left to do that's going to be the part that's after it's painted and secured the pigtails that are going to go into the main harness plug into it and need to be placing in it after it's painted so got it all masked here so i don't really make a mess out of the undercarriage of the body so here we go so we're gonna first go over it we've just wiped it down we're gonna get that van out of here and, and wipe it down some more tack cloth it and then we're gonna get ready to lay down the black base and coat her to a clear get tacky and lay jet black metal flake down 0.008 with a 1.8 millimeter tip on a paint gun. So stay tuned. We're gonna get ready for it. the base right now. We've got two coats of clear. It's actually, you know, still looks rough because uh, this is just so we can stop today and we're gonna wet sand all this down. And then we're gonna come back with the metal flake and mix with clear and put that down and then bury it. And then we leave it alone for another day or so. And then we wet sand it all down again and lay three or four coats on it and then it's done. So this is a long process, about a two to three day process. Could have been a two day process, but we had other things to do to get to this point. So we're gonna stop with the two medium coats are clear on it and we'll get back to it. So stay tuned. I'm back here to sand down the custom trike body and got to get all this orange peel. It was really hot that day. Dry spray clear on here, but it doesn't matter. I've got to sand all this down anyways. And then we're going to put the glitter on it or the metal flake, should I say, and then bury it in some clear. And then we have to come back and sand it again and put down some clear the last time. I want to do it in much cooler weather. And maybe by the time I get to it, it will be, or I'll start in the morning very early. All right, well, I'm going to get on with this. It's going to take Take a while. Hey guys, Rick and I are out here messing with the trike, the 1975 custom trike. I know you all haven't seen it in a while. It was put on the back burner for a little while and we're gonna crank it up. Yes, I know the belt's loose, so we're gonna crank it up and then put the body on it and take it for a spin. It'll be the first time this thing's moved in over 30 years on its own power. Gotta get the fuel to it right now. Got our little ghetto fuel tank there. He's gonna have two aluminum tanks made. 
Oh, that's off, yeah, down. <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> Nothing in the filter yet. You definitely got oil pressure now. Top of the filter now. You can get the stick, I'll get all this off, and then we'll place the body on it, and uh, probably put that through the hole and so it doesn't make contact with it. All right, guys, we got the body on. This will be the first time in at least 30 years that this thing has moved on its own power. So, clutch in. We're in reverse, and you said first is? It should be first. Okay. All right, let's see if I'm gonna jump anywhere. Oop, that's, that's clutch is not engaged, huh? Let me see. I don't even know how the hell I get in here. Where's the entrance? Right here. <laughs> what is your doggy door? This is my doggy door. Burp, burp. Nice, huh? Yeah? into the 70s. Oh my God. Look at that bad boy. Yes, there's no tiger striping. Now this is the first coat, so there's a couple of little dry spots. It doesn't matter. But I'm about to get back in here and put another coat down. It's gonna get two more. This is gorgeous. This is what I wanted to see. Imagine this in the daylight. Wow. Hmm. Just bugging, bringing it back. Back on the 75 custom VW trike. There was a delay in it, sorry, but we were back strong. Yeah. First attempt, first time ever doing a metal flake, and I'm gonna make it happen, man. Feeling good, feeling confident. I watched enough videos, should have it down. Oh, yeah. My alarm's about to go off. It's time to come back in. All right. Back out the doggy door. Back out the doggy door. Phase one is completed on the trike. Silver metal flake paint job. Duplicating what they did in the 1970s, you know, with the large metal flake. First you apply your base, and then you come back and you put the metal flake in your clear, and you determine how much you want. And then you put down three to four coats. You know, your fourth coat might be a broadcast of clear with the metal flake in it, and 15 minutes in between each coat. And then you come back with three to four coats of just clear, and you're trying to bury the metal flake. Then you let it sit for about two days and cure. It's gorgeous. I'm very pleased. And the, there's no tiger striping. It is evenly dispersed. You don't see any areas larger than, or more metal than the others. So imagine what it's going to look like out in the sun. Wow. But I'm extremely pleased with it. Just bug you. Dark out here. Let's see what this new camera does. And does it actually show how beautiful this thing is? You know, it may be done. I may have laid so much clear on it. But I'll see when it comes out of here tomorrow. And uh, I may just wet sand it down like I said I was gonna do it and put some more clear on it. But I can't believe how smooth it is. I buried it. I mean, it's, it's dry right now, but I don't feel. I mean, it could always be better if I wet sand it and 
cleared again, but see, I'm not feeling it. I actually buried it. It's amazing, beautiful. Wait till you see this out in the sun tomorrow. Mm, couldn't ask for better results. I don't feel anything. I really don't think I need to do anything else to it. Hey man, what we got here? Well, we have the 75 custom VW trike and the metal flake paint job is done. And I'm very pleased with it. It's quite beautiful and stunning if you ask me. First time I've ever done a metal flake paint job. I'm very happy with it. It definitely glitters. And then uh, when he brings the leather seats to me, I've got to install the snaps so the seats will stay on. Nice pleated leather. Gonna look sharp. Hey guys, back on the trike. Finally gonna get this thing done. As you see the beautiful metal flake paint job. And Rick and I are going through the wiring harness, making sure everything's right. And I'm gonna start hooking up the gauges and everything as it is now with the body off, making sure everything works as it should. And then all the switches and everything and the gauges and the lights will get transferred over to here. So gotta find a ring for the shifter boot, fit in there. We've got the gauges. It's not gonna have a spot armor, just have his attack armor like it had originally. And then the cool thing is we've got the lights that you see on the old Maverick some pentos and they will go in here and i've already installed the uh, board that goes in here for it to just sequential tail lights like you see on the mustangs and so, so forth so we're gonna get all this hooked up make sure everything works properly put this up on it put the body up onto the chassis and take its maiden voyage this thing has not moved and probably 35 40 years it has not been driven i'm not exactly sure but he drove it back in 1975 and then as life made its changes it got disassembled and stored away and came to me in pieces and i've uh, had to decipher what it was by a couple of black and white photos and i figured everything out pretty much except for a couple pieces he had chromed i'm not quite sure where they go and i'll still have to determine where i'm going to put a tag and a light which it looks to me like he had it right here so that'll be there it's probably the same holes as this because this is exactly what came off. No, that isn't it. Hmm, not sure. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he put it, yeah, he put it behind the lights. But then that is the tag right here that was on it. So this, yeah, this went right here. But if this went here, it looks like they had some sort of gasket here, a thick gasket because that hole is just big enough for the wire. So something went right there. Hmm, I'll figure that out. It's not the biggest problem there, but that's what we're going to be doing today. And hopefully soon I'll be test driving this, which I'm not feeling too comfortable about shifting with my left and one hand on, on the handlebars, but <laughs> who's to say I'm going to go up past first gear? <laughs> Alrighty, stay tuned for more progress on the 75 custom trike.